It's a beautiful day to check out the flowers at Epcot. Everyone, it's her from World Alt, and welcome to another live broadcast from the Walt Disney World Resort in Orlando, Florida. A nice Saturday, sunny, beautiful, 70 degrees on its way up to 80. Um, a great day to be here. We're going to check out some of the topiaries and perhaps stop by the Seas with Nemo and friends and um, might just check out Turtle Talk with Crush if the line is not so long. Susan, hello to you. Good morning. Judy, good morning from Windy, Pennsylvania. Welcome back, Pat. Jeff, good morning to you. Hello. Beautiful day here. A lot of people streaming in. Morning. Good morning. Topher got a notification today. Topher, thank you for that. I have no idea what Facebook is doing when it comes to notifications. It's just confusing to me for sure. Tomorrow, good morning. Good to see you. Ryan, happy Saturday to you. Welcome to Epcot. And Elmer, hello. Emily, good morning. Thanks for being here. Focus, I like to see the topiaries. Me too. Lots of good stuff. Hello, Bernie. And Anne Marie, good morning to you. The pylons are looking good here. Mary from Texas, hello, and Dory. Snowing in Connecticut. I guess it is still winter time. It's a little chilly here. Well, you know, chilly Florida style. 70 degrees. Feel a little bit of nip in the air. Kim from Louisville, hello to you. And HR, Northern California, thanks for spending some of your early Saturday morning with me. So we're going to take the long way around. We're going to head past Guardians of the Galaxy and uh, make our way over to the Living Seas. Hopefully we'll check out Turtle Talk with Crush and along the way we will look at some of the uh, flowers. I've got International Flower and Garden Festival going on now. Great time of the year to be here. D, hello to you. San Diego, another early morning California person. Thank you for being here. Hi, Tim. It's good to see you. I hope that you were doing well. I've been thinking about you. I don't know if I'm seeing some Beverly on the radar for me today. And I'm going to pull off to the side here because my display is acting a little strangely. Let's see if I can adjust it here. I don't know if I can adjust it. like my display is a little bit different. Susan, good morning to you. <laughs> John is voting Beverly for all. Todd, hello to you. And Sarah, good morning. Nice to see you. Shelly's got 33 days to go. Hello. <laughs> Susan saying no thanks. I think it's Beverly. Gary says things are looking good. Paul, New York and snowy. Brad says Epcot is especially great in the springtime. I agree with you. So we're going to take a little cut through here at the Connections Cafe. I would imagine we'll see that the uh, Starbucks is busy. It typically is kind of all day long, but especially in the morning. Uh, take a little stroll past Guardians, past Test Track, past Mission Space. And we'll make our way over to the uh, Seas with Nemo and friends. Tim in Connecticut, good morning to you. Hope you were doing well. Uh, you can kind of peek over at the Starbucks. I can see the line. Yeah, for sure there's a lot.
Wanda, good morning to you. John says, are we riding on Living with the Land today? So my idea is that we will head over to the seas and we will check out uh, Turtle Talk with Crush. Rebecca, good morning to you. Hope you're having a good day. Stacy asks how the weather is. It's gorgeous. It is a beautiful day. 70 degrees on the way up to 80. It's a nice day to be here. So this evening, I have my annual pass preview for Tron between 7 and 8. So I um, hope to do a live broadcast. Just kind of show you the area where Tron exists. Won't be able to do a live broadcast of the ride itself uh, for safety reasons, but I will show you what's going on over in that area, and I think it's going to look beautiful in the evening. Judy's an emo friend. Or an emo fan, excuse me. Uh-oh, Debbie says allergies are killing me. Definitely springtime is springing in Florida, that's for sure. So I did just for fun check out the virtual queue for Guardians of the Galaxy and yeah, they were all snapped up by the time I looked, which is pretty normal. See a lot of people are heading in for their experience though. Brandy, hello to you in Chicago. Hope you're doing well. Donna says, is it too early for a shameless plug? Donna, never. Thank you for prompting yet another of what's probably an unlimited number of shameless plugs at the Pin and Love Club. If you would like to get a little bit of Disney fun delivered to your home every single month, check out PinandTheLoveClub.com. The Nova Blaster is looking good here in front of Guardians. Phyllis has got 63 days to go. Hi, Phyllis. Hey there. Michael, North Carolina. Hi, I'm, I'm Herb. Good to see you. Herb, Thank, pleasure to meet you. Thanks for saying hi. Every week we watch. We're from North Carolina. Yeah? Yep, and uh, we just got off the cruise and we're here for one day. Oh, good. Well, thanks for saying hi. How was the cruise? Fantastic time. The fantasy. Oh, Very nice. Happy. Good. Ready good. to do it again. Good. Well, thanks for saying hi. I appreciate it. Thanks for all the Saturdays that you bring us in Disney. Uh, happy to do it. Right, good to see you. Have a good day. That was nice. I always like it when people say hello. Okay, let's continue our stroll. Melissa says, is there a new t-shirt this week? Melissa, I apologize. I've got a design in the hopper. I just need to get it posted and have not had the opportunity to do that. I have to double check that the design is okay because there was a flaw in it that was going to make it look kind of weird. Uh, I just need to make sure that it's good. So fingers crossed next week. Hang on there. Henry, hello to you. So Donald and Daisy Topiaries here looking good. Together with some community garden. Brooke, hello to you. 37 days to go. Nice to see you. Yeah, this topiary setup is very nice. Gina, good morning to you. Adam from Swanton, Ohio. Hope you're having a good day in Swanton. All right, let's head over and check out the wait times for Mission Space, as well as Test Track. We'll continue our stroll. Past World Discovery, World Celebration, over to World Nature. And hopefully, we'll see how things are going with Turtle Talk with Crush. Stacy from Rainy Long Island. See another topiary coming up here with Buzz Lightyear and appropriately stationed in front of Mission Space. 
Tony says looks beautiful. It is a beautiful day. Great day to be here. Beth said I could walk through the butterfly tent. Beth, that's a great idea. I actually did that for the opening day. Oh, this is looking good. That's a nice, nice shot right there. Marlene, good morning to you. Amy from West Virginia. Benjamin, one week to go. You're coming here at a great time of the year. Probably spring breakish time, so lots of folks coming out, but a good time to do so. My own is missing Dizzy. So not bad at all. Standby wait time for mission space. Five minutes for the green team. 10 minutes for the orange more intense. So yeah, not bad. Joanne says, loves the panda topiaries at uh, China. Yeah, very cool. Jody says, what's new this week? Uh, there's actually quite a bit of news over. You can check it out at uh, worldofwalk.com. So one of the big pieces of news was that Lighthouse Point, the new private cruise stop, for the Disney Cruise Line. It's gonna be welcoming guests next summer, 2024. So good to hear that it has been uh, continued progress with the Disney Cruise Line, so that was interesting. Karen, good morning to you, nice to see you. HR is voting for green team. And you can hear the cars and test track whizzing by. Hi, Samantha. Happy Saturday to you. Good to see you. <laughs> April says, oh my goodness, the sunshine. It is a beautiful, glorious day here. Kim's got some cold in Michigan. Excuse me, Virginia, I think it was. Let's see what the wait times look like here. Test track. Gina, good morning to you. Thank you for sharing the video. I really appreciate that. One of the best ways to get the word out. Okay, is that 55 minutes standby wait time here at Test Track? Not so bad. Robert says, am I going on the wish? So I would like to do that at some point. I do not have any plans, um, but yeah, I would love to be able to. So a bit of a different design newest ship in the Disney Cruise Line fleet, uh, kind of as opposed to taking a seafaring approach and adding a Disney touch, it's more creating a Disney touch on the sea. So we'd love to be able to see it, but have not done it yet, have not yet booked a trip. Gina says it is a beautiful Disney day, that it is. Thanks everyone for all the hearts and the thumbs up for your comments. It's always great to chat with you. Uh, it's because you do that that sometimes I get the opportunity to attend media events like the one that's coming up this week on Tuesday and Wednesday. I'm thrilled to have an opportunity to uh, share with you everything I can learn about Tron, Flight Cycle Run at the Magic Kingdom. I actually get my pass holder preview tonight and then next, this coming Tuesday and Wednesday, an opportunity to attend a media event where uh, I hope I'll get an opportunity to speak with some of the people who bring the magic to life, including those who are dealing with uh, the attraction and merchandise and all the things that go into Disney opening up a new, um, a new attraction like Tron. Also, should get an opportunity to check out a Woody's Rodeo Roundup Barbecue. I'm not sure if that's still the official name, but something like that uh, over at Disney's Hollywood Studios. So looking forward to bringing all of that to you. And again, it's because you're here, because you like, because you comment, because you share. 
Thank you for doing that. Carol, hello to you. Another interesting piece of news this week was Josh Jamro. I don't know if I'm saying his surname correctly, uh, made a comment that uh, you know, there's a lot more to come at uh, Disney, which, you know, being the head of the, uh, the parks area, it's good for him to say something like that. Um, it wasn't really followed up with any specifics, more just an encouraging comment that there's a lot going on here. Mike says barbecue, now we're talking. Chad says can't wait to try the barbecue. Me too. I know I'm going to get an opportunity, or at least scheduled to get an opportunity, to see inside the new facility. I'm hoping, fingers crossed, I'll get an opportunity to taste the food and share with you what I want. Flower beds with spaceship earths in the background. Looks great. It's the name chopped off, I'm sorry, Purple Marlins. You can see their little homes uh, there in the background. Matt, good morning to you. Nice to see you. Vicky says, a beautiful view. That it is. So, World Discovery, we've taken a little stroll. We're going to scoot past World Celebration and over to World Nature. Making our way over to the seas. Um, if anyone has access to the My Disney Experience app, I'd love to know if you're seeing any uh, wait times for Turtle Talk with Crush. When I started 20 minutes or so ago, it was only a few minutes, so I'm hoping that will be the case. It's been a while since I've seen Turtle Talk with Crush actually. Susan, good morning to you. Nice to see you. Still fun to see all of the 50th anniversary commemorative statues, including this one with Figment. I got it! Oh, you got it? Oh, you! You got it! Gina says, loves Turtle Talk with Crush. Very cute. I agree. It's a great attraction. I love the fact that the character interacts. Barbie says, 15 minutes for Turtle Talk. Thank you for that. I think that's still worth a go. We're going to head over and do it. So the walkway connecting to World Showcase, looking good. You can see the towers of flowers and Goofy hanging out there at the end. Kelly, also 15 minutes with Turtle Talk. Thank you so much. Everyone, I appreciate that. Very helpful for me to, to know. So we'll make some plans. Tammy's a, a Turtle Talk fan. Let's continue our stroll. It's nice to see these flowers. I think these are impatience, maybe. In front of Spaceship Earth looks good. If anyone that knows how to identify these flowers, let me know. But I think that might be it. It was always my job to water the flower beds of impatience in the summertime in Ohio. Nicole said, Figment's a favorite. Liz says, the walkway to World Showcase is gorgeous. Gwen says, that Goofy is larger than life. That is very true. That is a supersized Goofy. And uh, same here with Mickey, Minnie, Pluto, even Chip and Dale. They're like extra big here. <laughs> John, dude, I'm a Turtle Clock fan. Topiaries are looking great. Beautiful flower beds. Ronnie from Arkansas, good to see you. Gina says, stunningly beautiful, for sure. So we are here in the spine of Epcot, the new world celebration area. Still construction walls, lots of them. Behind what will one of these days be Dreamer's Point and uh, a journey of water inspired by Moana.
still coming along. Uh, this is a nice shot right here. Monorail going by. The glass pyramids of imagination. And the beautiful flower beds. Looking good. Sarah says, 15 minutes for the turtle. Very good. Just a great spot here. Shane says, the flowers look beautiful. That they do. Debbie, hello to you. Thanks for being here. Nice to see you. <laughs> Robert, you totally rock, dude. I love turtle talk with turtle talk. Susan's got 77, usually has a few degrees on us, and uh, looks like that is the case here today. We're 71 right now. On our way up to 80, gorgeous day here. All right, we are going to continue on, make our way past imagination, past the land, over to the seas. We may just take a quick stop for the butterfly garden because it's a cool thing to see. Connie from, is that Crown City, Ohio? I don't know that I've heard of that before. Hope you're having a good day there. Wanda from Tennessee. Heather's a fan of the topiaries. I think we'll get to tech in, take in another one or two along the way. Linda, hello to you. Happy Saturday morning. Thanks for being here with me. Good to see you. Gerald, good morning to you. Debbie, 66 in Daytona. That's nice. I think it was Daytona. Ah, interesting. You can see some construction workers in their yellow and orange uh, tops. Do some work here on a Saturday morning on a festival center. Wanda said, I'd be glad when the walls come down. You and me both. Epcot has been a construction zone for a long, long time. Alice from Kansas, good to see you. Okay, Lion King topiaries are looking good. You can see Simba and Nala. Looking good. And over to the right, construction. Progress happening in this building, looking good. Glory in Maine, 31 degrees. Someone, I'm sorry, asked, is, and I missed the name, uh, if Milan is going where the University of Energy used to be. I think that was the question. Uh, so the University of Energy has become Guardians of the Galaxy Cosmic Rewind uh, over in the World Discovery section. And the Moana Journey of Water is going to be in the central area of um, world celebration, world nature, sort of connected to the land and then heading uh, towards the side of Spaceship Earth. Vicky Lion King is granddaughter's favorite. Joey, happy Saturday to you. Good to see you. Oh, yeah, Pumba. Pumba's looking good. Oh, he's got a smile on his face. That's, that's nice. Tanya says, cool topiary. I'm going to be able to see a figment topiary here, too. Figment's looking good. Dressed in purple, of course. Janet says, always love the floating gardens, also fun, I agree. Debbie says, Mrs. Interventions. That's been a while since that's been shut down and torn down. But progress. It'll be exciting to see when Epcot starts to come back to life in a central spine here in the New World Celebration area. Robert says, Epcot's a favorite.
Okay, we're going to take a little stop here at the Butterfly Garden before we head over to the Seas. Let's see if we can check out Crush. Hopefully the internet connection will hold up okay. Sometimes you go through these metal chains and yeah, the internet connection is not so hot. But we'll, we'll take a second to check it out. So this is a fun area, and it's um, usually not much of a, a wait, but uh, beautiful flowers. You can see the butterflies everywhere. Gina says, so pretty. I agree with you. It's a beautiful area. Paul is a fan of the butterfly garden. Tammy says it's relaxing. Fascinating to see the butterflies coming out of their cocoons, if that's the right term. And got some that are coming out right now. Connie says, never seen this before. It's a fun thing to walk through for a few minutes. It's really fun. Jack, good morning to you. Hope you're having a good Saturday. Thanks for spending a bit of it with me. Casalis, thank you. Tammy says, great for a school project, lots to learn. Well, fountain is nice. Probably hard to see on the video, but there are a lot of butterflies flying around, as they do. Let's see if I can catch any. Trying to catch a butterfly. There are a lot of them floating around here for sure. Yes, we are at the Flower and Garden Festival. April wants to smell the flowers. A good day to be here and do just that. Let's see another spot here where the butterflies are coming out. Sue said, very peaceful that it is. I like how everything is labeled here too, so you can see these giant milkweeds. Mary says coming in June, looking forward to it. <laughs> Robert says a butterfly landing on me. I don't think I've seen a butterfly landing on me, but it would not be um, terribly unusual because they are packed in here for sure. said bunny alert on my left side. Yeah, someone said that there was a bunny here. I did not see it. But I sure believe it. Okay, that was a nice little detour. Fun. Let's continue our way through world nature. Hi there, how are you? That's nice to I, see you. I've been needing to uh, find you when we're here this week, and I'm like, oh, we're in Epcot. Yeah. So I wanted to wait and say hello. This is my husband, Stan. Hi, Stan. Good to meet you. I watch you every Saturday. Thank you so much for doing that. Yeah, thank so, you. Are you having a good trip? We are. Yeah, thank 
Yeah, coming a good time of year. Yeah, it's gorgeous. Yeah, it's a beautiful day. Nice to meet you. Thank you so much for saying hello. You too. Thank you. Bye bye. That's nice. I always love when people take a moment to say hello. Okay. We are on our way over to the seas. Mary says, love it when folks say hi, me too. Lisa says, I'm famous. I'm famous in a micro kind of way. Someone said, do I usually wear a hat? I do. I wear kind of a bucket hat to keep the sun off. Kathy, thank you. Asking if it's time for a shameless plug for the Pin of the Month Club. It sure is. You know, it always is. If you'd like to get a little bit of Disney fun delivered to your home every single month, check out pinofthemonthclub.com. Okay, I think we're going to enter through the gift shop and make our way over to Triple Talk with Crush. Someone, I think it was Lisa, said, how about a shirt for Flower and Garden? That's a good idea. Uh, the next shirt I have got, I'll give you a hint, is monorail themed. I just need to test it out and get it posted. My goal is to do that this week, so hang in there. It's going to be a busy week Disney-wise for me, so this evening I'll be back at the Magic Kingdom for my annual pass holder preview of Tron Light Cycle Run at the Magic Kingdom between 7 and 8, so hope to do a live broadcast, not of the attraction itself, but just to the area. I'm excited I'm getting an opportunity to see it in the night, because uh, I think it's going to be especially beautiful. And then this coming Tuesday and Wednesday, a media event for both the opening of Tron. Hopefully I'll have an opportunity to do some interviews and bring them to you, as well as some time over at Disney's Hollywood Studios for uh, the new barbecue restaurant in Toy Story Land. Exit through the gift shop. Make our way over to Turtle Talk with Crush. Yeah. <laughs> Susan can hear the seagulls with their famous line of my, 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 which, by the way, I always think is great. Dude, everybody's practicing there. Turtle talking. I think it was Helen said, what did I say I'm doing tonight? So, um, annual pass holder preview of Tron Light Cycle Run over at the Magic Kingdom. My preview time is between 7 and 8. Hoping to get there on the earlier side of that. I won't be able to actually bring the ride to you, but um, to plan to bring kind of the area. Okay, 15 minutes standby, not bad. Welcome to Turtle Talk with Crush. Very good morning to you. I think it was Janine said she did her preview this past week. That's great. Hope you had a good time. Gary says, is it time for a shameless plug? Gary, thank you. Of course, always. Today you win the award my appreciation. If you'd like to get a little bit of Disney fun over to your home every single month, check out pinofthemonthclub.com. Jeff has never seen Turtle Talk with Crush. It's a blast. You're going to like it. It smells like fish over here. It Harvey says, no, wait, yeah, if we can get in this, this uh, presentation, that was perfect timing. 
love the lighting. Very cool. <laughs> Judy said 15 minutes or like 15 seconds. I'm glad it was quick. Please choose the row, set all the way to your left, folks. Little ones and little ones will come up front to get the best view of all of their videos. Go ahead and slide all the way to your left, folks. Please slide to your left as you enter the door. Please enter you to your left. Keep the row, we'll slide all the way down. Welcome to the human tank. Elkis is practicing turtle. Righteous. Dude. Welcome in, folks. Once again, if you have any little ones, you're more than welcome to come up front. Sit inside the orange box. These kids need to be all the way in the orange box. All the way in. Janet, hello to you. Thanks, hey guys, everyone, for your in. comments. Roll, likes, shares. Appreciate it. Once again, little ones, if we're sitting up front, make sure we're inside the orange boxes at all times, please. Welcome in, folks. Please choose a row. Slide all the way down to your left. If you have any little ones, you're more than welcome to come up front. And sit inside the orange box. Get the best view of our window to the ocean. All right, folks, before we begin, here's a few reminders from Seabase. We need to keep the center and side aisles clear at all times during the presentation. Screening we need to go all the way inside the box. All the way. If you need to leave the theater, folks, for any reason during the presentation, sure, we need to sure we need to keep Side and center aisles clear at all times. We're going to use these double doors here to your right if you need to exit, folks. Okay, those will also be the doors you'll be exiting out of at the end of the show. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Hello, folks. Welcome to Turtle Talk. My name is Garrett. Before we begin, here's a few reminders from Seabase. No eating, no drinking, no smoking, and no flat top. Thank you, guys. Well, this is a hydrophone. We use it to listen to sound beneath the ocean. Today, we'll be using it to listen to a very special guest. Does everybody know who that is? Shout it out. Yeah. That's right. Crush will be coming to learn about the human world, and we can ask him questions about the turtle world. Does so everybody have questions? Ready to ask Crush, okay? Great. Yeah. Thank you. Well, I think Crush is off circle right now. Let's see if we can grab his attention by shouting, Hey, Crush, I can count of three. You guys ready? One, two, three. Hey, Crush! Who brought you 
want you here on this fine day. You had to chill it with the rentals. Nice. But rental units, where are you at, dude? Raise it in. Let me see. Yeah. But wait near the back, dude. Taking a mini vacay. Yeah. Let's go talk to them. They look nervous. Hi. What's your name, dude? Hi, Deborah. Deborah, is that your little dude up front there? Yes. Awesome. Deborah, how many little ones did you bring today? We only brought two, but we have five. Aw, oh, dude, you're just getting started. <laughs> <laughs> dude, I got 65 myself, dude. Oh, Mom, it's okay, though. I see that look. It is not a contest. <laughs> dude, well, tell me about your hatchlings, dude. Did they ask you just tons of questions? Oh, dude. Oh, we totally shared a moment right there, dude. Yeah, but dude, that's why I'm here. I'm here to learn about you. Yeah, just the other day, my youngest son, Squirt, he was all like, da, 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 what's up with the humans? And I was like, do, 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 <laughs> so, dudes, I am here to soak up the knowledge I can and bring that to Squirt. Now, if you dudes think you can help me out, everybody say, Shaw! Awesome, dudes. You so totally rock! Oh, wait, dudes, hold up. You don't know. Okay, dude, when a turtle says, you so totally rock, the proper response is, dude. <laughs> So, as I was saying, you so totally rock! Epic. <laughs> On to Squirt's question, dudes. Numero uno. Squirt dude, he asked me the other day, Dad, what do the humans do at the beach? So, what do you dudes do at the beach? Shout it out, dudes! What do you do? Swim, play. Okay, dude, how about this? Where are my swimmers? If you're out there, you love to swim, raise your fin. Let me see. Oh, that is so many, dude. Oh, let's go talk to a little swimmer. Right up front, first row. They got like a pink shell, this kind of like sparkly bow on top for a little like poopy ball. Hey, what's your name, dude? Oh, and dude, you like to swim, right? Yeah. Dude, when you swim, do you like swimming slow or fast? Fine. Dude, you got delicious. <laughs> <laughs> just like me, dude. I'll tell you what, just for you, let's see how fast I can push it, okay? Humans, I'm going for a speed swim. Help me out, dudes. Everybody say, rip it. Rip it. Watch out for the glass. Oh, thanks, Hank. <laughs> Wait, how long has that dude been? <laughs> dude, where are my manners? I've been doing all the talking. If any of you dudes out there got a question for the crush man, raise your fin, dude. Little one sitting in a lap, right up front, dude. First little one in the row, close to that middle aisle between the two sections. Hi. What's up, little one? What's your name? Oh, and do, do you have a question for me? Did you forget your question? Where do you sleep? Uh, where do I sleep? Oh, dude, I sleep in little caves here in the big blue, dude. I sleep in little caves under the water so that, like, when I wake up, the current hasn't taken me somewhere, and I'm like, dude, where am I? <laughs> dude, it's like an epic napping spot for us turtles, dude. Aww. Did anybody else have a question? Raise your fin. Awesome, dude. Yeah, uh, we're going to go over here to this side, dude. Second row, little dude, black shell, right next to you, lid on top of the noggin. Oh, what's your name? Corona. 
Ronan. Ronan, what's your question, dude? Can you bring Dave? Can, can I bring Dave? <laughs> Who's Dave? <laughs> dude, who is that? Wait, what? <laughs> There's a turtle named Dave in Moana? Dude, no. <laughs> I mean, I don't think Dave's here, dude. <laughs> I'll keep an eye out for him. <laughs> dude, uh, who else has a question, dude? Raise your fin. Little dude in the back row. Their friend is like waving their fin warm. This is intense, dude. Hi, right. what's your name? And do, do you have a question too? Yeah, question. Did you forget your question? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Maybe I can ask you a question, dude. If that's okay, dude. I was hanging out with Squirt. We found this weird thing. I think it's a human thing. Um, dude, check this out. Look what we found, dude. Yeah. Do you know what this is? Buzz. Oh, dude, that makes sense. Every couple of minutes, I think it's been like balls like here to the rescue. <laughs> awesome, dude. Hey, Destiny, you can't catch me. Hey, come back here. Hey, little blue. Destiny, dude, come back over. Come say hello to the humans. <laughs> Destiny, I've been having this epic combo. Dude, now that you're here, little Blue, you should teach them to speak well. Destiny can teach them. She taught me. Nice. Only she worked here. Um. I am here. Wow. Well, that's freaky. Okay, everybody, repeat after me. Hello. Says loves turtle talk. Oh, 
It's a great show. Mary Lou said it was great. Kimberly said cute. I agree. <laughs> Mike says he's using dude all day long. You should. The people around you will thank you. John says he loves the show. Melissa says, thanks for sharing Turtle Talk today. My pleasure. Sandra said, fun for the parents and the kids. It is. I love the interactive nature of it. The fact that they crush them talk back and forth, and the fact that they asked some parents too. Very fun. Jeff says, another great Saturday. Jeff, thank you for that. Kathy's never seen Turtle Talk. Very happy to bring it to you. Heather says, so much fun. Tom says, haven't seen Turtle Talk in years. out to world nature. Roxanne says, love Turtle Talk, 25 days to go. Susan said, cute show, I agree. Phil said, first time seeing Turtle Talk, very happy to share it with you. Michael says, the magic of Disney. All right, out into the bright sun. 73 degrees, we're up a couple since we started, but a beautiful day. Great day to be here. We'll walk out here a bit before we wrap it up for today. Again, thank you for spending a bit of your Saturday with me. The monorail gliding by. Good time. Stop by and say hello to the seagulls. Denise says, thank you. Denise, my pleasure. Spaceship Earth is looking good. All right, everyone, that's going to wrap it up for today. Thanks so much for joining me from another for another live broadcast from Epcot Flower and Garden Festival chance to walk around world discovery world celebration world nature check out turtle talk with crush appreciate your spending a little bit of your saturday with me thanks as always for the comments the likes the shares uh, share is a great way to get the word out and it's because you do that that sometimes i get an opportunity to do special things with nice folks at disney media relations like this week tuesday and wednesday i'm going to be at a media event for the preview of tron light cycle run as well as the uh, roundup rodeo barbecue over at Disney's Hollywood Studios. Can't wait to see it and share all the news with you. Uh, this evening, planning to do a probably relatively short broadcast from the Magic Kingdom and my annual pass holder preview of Tron Light Cycle Run as well. So I'm going to get two doses of Tron this week. I can't wait. Thank you as always, and I hope you have a wonderful weekend. And until next time, God bless. <laughs>